flight CU-2345 to Cape Town has landed. Welcome to Cape Town! Welcome to Cape Town. Enjoy the party. Come on and have some fun. Work off in Cape Town, South Africa, situated at the foot of Signal Hill, may be one of the most photographed areas in the Mother City. This part of Cape Town is packed full of history and culture. The earliest development in the Boer Carp area was undertaken in the 1760s by a chap called Jan de Waal. Subsequently, the area became known as Walendorf. It has also been known as Malay Quarters, the Slam Sabir and Scotia Kluwer. Translated from Afrikaans, Boer Carp means above the Cape. It is one of the oldest areas in Cape Town. Part of the Boerkop's charm is the mix of Cape Dutch and Cape Georgian architectural styles. The area showcases a local Islamic culture and heritage and was built by Jan de Waal in 1768. Like all great cities, Cape Town's historic centre is really a collection of interlinked villages each with its own character. But the city's most colourful neighbourhood has to be the Boer Carp. On either side of the district's steep streets, in the shadow of Signal Hill, are two storied houses painted in vivid colours, lime green, lemon yellow, sky blue and lipstick pink seems to be the favourite colours. No one seems to know just when and why the householders of the Boer Carp began painting their houses these colours. Perhaps it's to do with South Africans' reinvention of itself as the Rainbow Nation. After the end of apartheid, Boer Carpers were able to buy their own homes from the city council, so perhaps painting them in bright colours became an expression of long suppressed individualism and a celebration of newfound freedom. Boer Carp's heritage is also refined in its music and dance festivals and of course its food. Each year on the 2nd of January, the Boer Carp celebrates with a big street party event known as the Coon Carnival and it celebrates it in the centre of the town. It was originally introduced by the Muslim slaves who celebrated their only day off work for the whole year. Nowadays, men, women and children march from the Grand Parade to Greenpoint Stadium, singing and dancing. They are proudly clad in colourful, shiny suits, white hats and carry a sun umbrella. Most groups have their own bands, boasting music from guitars, mandolins, banjo and drums. This quaint area is full of charm and character and is well worth the visit when in Cape Town, South Africa.